What's up YouTube, it's Coach Corey, and today we're gonna have a video on how to play Showdown like a pro, and to do that, we got one of the top Showdown players in the world with us. At the very least, he's got the most Showdown victories in the world, and to do that, you know, each Showdown victory you have to get first. He has almost 3,000 of those, which is an insane amount. His name is Big1913. What's up, Big? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Nice. Thanks for coming on the channel. So today we're just going to ask you a bunch of questions about Showdown. So, I mean, first off, you know, why do you prefer Showdown so much? Do you play the other game modes or do you pretty much only just play Showdown? Oh, I play Showdown mostly, but like I play the other game modes, like only the trophy push. Okay, so just a little bit, but do you pretty much mostly just play Showdown though, I guess, right? Yeah, like Showdown 24-7. Okay. All right. Why do you prefer Showdown so much over other game modes? I prefer Showdown because like Showdown is like more creative. Like you can team with people. You can just have fun. Like the other game modes, like it's mostly about trophy pushing, but Showdown you just have fun. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. It's definitely a pretty unique game mode. All yeah. right. So so walk me through your strategy at like the beginning of a Showdown game. Uh, so, like, are you going for, like, boxes straight away? Are you trying to, like, kill people? Or what do you do at the beginning of games? First, you have to, like, just farm boxes, and then you start hunting people down. Okay. All right. Well, so, let's talk about some map stuff. So, what would you say is your favorite showdown map? Feast of Famine, of course. Feast of Famine? Why is yeah. that? Because, like... It's more like diversity because you can use any brawler. Like if you go into the middle, yeah, you, like, use Pam or something, you get all eight boxes. You're gonna win the game. That's true. I imagine that's kind of hard brawler. to do, but yeah, nice. But there's a chance. That's true. Yeah, it's a a risk reward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's go into some strategies for each of the showdown maps. So let's start out with Death Valley and. Why don't, why don't you give me your top three brawlers for Death Valley? Okay, for Death Valley, I would use Colt, Dynamite, or Barley. Colt, Dynamite, or Barley. And what sort of strategy? Do you like go for specific areas of the map, or is it not so much uh, dependent on that? Or what do you do with those brawlers? Okay, for Colt, you want to go into the middle and just farm all the boxes. And to make sure to build your super... Okay. Because the throwers can, like, counter you pretty well. So you have to, like, break all the walls to have a better chance of killing them. Okay. Fair enough. And then for the throwers, you want to, like, on the outside and make sure not to go in the middle because to open space, you just yeah. hide behind the walls until you build your super. Okay. All right. So those are the best brawlers for Death Valley. What would you say are the ones you really don't want to use on Death Valley? Or the, the worst ones? You don't want to use Pam, Jesse, or Poco. Pam, Jesse, or Poco. All right. Is that pretty much general across a lot of these maps for those three brawlers? Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't think want so? To use them. Okay. Yeah. They just don't do enough damage. Is is that the main thing you think, or? Yeah, they don't do enough damage. Okay, fair enough. And they can't really battle anybody. Like, right. Really well. Yeah, they can't win a one v one. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So let's go into Feast or Famine, which I think is a lot of people's favorite map, really. It's definitely, it's like there's different zones, honestly. So how would you play Feast or Famine? What's okay, your strategy so if there? if you're a Bold, Primo, or Shelly, or Daryl, you always want to go into the middle. But okay. if you're any other brawler, you want to go to the outside. Okay. And then, like, do you have, like, certain brawlers where you're trying to go towards the bottom, like the cactus areas? Or does it not so much matter you're just sticking to the outside? Well, like, if you have Ricochet, it's good to go to the Cactus areas because you can use your bounce shot to get more hits off people. Okay, fair enough. And I feel from a lot of people that they push, you know, many different brawlers on Feast or Famine. Do you think it's not so much dependent on what brawlers you use, or are there definite, like, brawlers that are best for Feast or Famine? Well, it doesn't really matter what brawlers you use because you could still, like, get more cups in Feast or Famine. Mm -hmm. But I prefer a bull, primo, and jelly, so you could like push to 500. Okay, and you just go towards the middle for the most part. Yeah, but you can push any brawler and get to 500. Any brawler. On showdown? Or no, just feast or famine, famine? You're saying? 
Just Feast or Famine. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have heard that. Feast or Famine seems like the most uh, map easiest to push on. Yeah. W would you say that that's the best map to push out on? on? Yeah, the best map to okay. push out. All right, so let's go on to Skull Creek. So what would you say, what sort of strategy are you trying to use for Skull Creek? What sort of brawlers are you trying to use? So you want to mostly use throwers. Well, you can put like a Ricochet or a Colt in there, but throwers like the most, like the best way to use in that map. Okay. So like, yeah, Barley, Dynamite, a Spike. Uh, what about yeah. like, Colts or Ricochet are always strong, right? Yeah. But I prefer throwers on the map. Throwers? All yeah, right. Yeah, because you go in the middle, like, they will just ambush you. So, as throwers, what are you trying to do? Are you sticking towards the outside, or are you sick towards the middle? No, you want to stay in the middle, and, like, probably get, like, a team of three. Okay. And just kill everybody else. Okay. All right, so we'll talk about teaming later. But first, let's let's go over the last map, Stormy Plains. So what do you think about Stormy Plains? Is this another thrower map, or are there other brawlers that are good here, too? Well, it's dominantly throwers, but like mm -hmm. you can use Cole, Ricochet, like a Terra. Okay. So, is there a certain strategy you're using here, or this map seems fairly even? But what do you think? It's not really any strategy because like all the boxes are like separated, so you can't really like farm them. It's fun like stay on the outskirts mm -hmm. until you push into the middle. Okay. All right, that's fair enough. All right, now, now that we covered uh, all of the maps, what would you say are your top five brawlers overall, considering all the maps for Showdown? So, for number one, I would say Colt. And Colt? number two, okay. I'll say Barley. Number three, Dynamite. Number four, Terra. And number five, Primo, like, slash Bull. Primo or Bull? Okay, yeah. that's interesting. How, how viable do you think Mortis is? In showdown, I oh, like he's good. Like you have to be a skilled mortis because like mm -hmm. for piece of famine, you want to like, go into the middle and just steal boxes until you can kill them. Hmm. But, like for other maps, you just want to run and hide and sneak up on people. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean he's definitely like some of those brawls you said that were really bad. He can't kill people, but mortis is obviously really good at getting away, which is definitely important in showdown. Okay, yeah, so but... let's talk about teaming. So what is your strategy on teaming? Are you, like, teaming all the time? Or, you know, how, what's your strategy for teaming as far as showdown? I only team when it's necessary. Like, if I see somebody, like, off in the distance, I want to, like, spin at them. But, like, mm -hmm. if I'm getting cornered by somebody and, like, they offer to team with me, then I'm going to team with them. Okay, so what about, like, early on in games? Are you... At the very start of games, are you looking to team with what you know those early people you meet, or are you really trying to kill them or just see how the situation plays out? Well, it depends where brawler they are, because like if they're a Shelly, Bull, Primo, Daryl, right. then I wouldn't team with them. But if they're like yeah. another brawler, then I would team with them. Okay, yeah. So you team with similar brawlers to you, right? For the most part. And, but if I could three shot them, then I would uh, backstab. Okay, so that's another question I had. So when do you think about betraying some of those teammates? Well, you want to betray them when they're not, like, helping you. Like, if you're the pusher in the group, then you should just kill them since they're not doing any work. Okay. Or you should just kill them, like, when you're able to three-shot them. Okay. Interesting. So when you're teaming and let's say you have, like, a team of, like, three or more people, do you try and, like, are you staying aggressive and, like, trying to attack other people or are you sort of sitting in the back of the team and letting your, your, your quote-unquote teammates do the work? Yeah, you have to let them do the work because, like, if you get damaged even a little bit, they're going to kill you instantly. Yeah, sure. That's where a lot of the backstabbing happens. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. How important do you think it is to, like, farm up your super uh, early on? And if, like, if you don't think you're able to do that, is that going to be a really bad sign for you later on? Or can you still get away from not doing that? Well, you really need your super. It actually depends, like, what brawler you're using. Because, like, if you're Poco, you don't really need your super. But, like, if you're Primo, because, like, you're usually get cornered by a bunch of people, you need to be able to jump on them, especially on throwers. Yeah, that's true. Right, yeah. that makes sense. And I feel like some of the throwers having your super helps a ton. I feel like a lot of times if you have your super, people 
are less likely to betray you, too. Yeah. Right, because then you're much more of a threat. Okay. So, how how big do the teams get at, like, your trophy levels? One time I had a team of 10. Team of 10? Yeah. That seems a bit excessive. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had to team with them because, like, there was, like, a team of five. They were all cornering me. I didn't want to get 10th place, so I had to team with them. Yeah, not much you can do if there's a big team approaching you. Yeah. So, so know, at the end, they all, like, start backstabbing Oh, yeah, and then it's just, it's honestly a matter of luck sometimes. Yeah. It seems like. Yeah. So what do you do, like, if you're, let's say you're a team of, like, two or three, and a bigger team approaches you, like, four or five, is there, are you just trying to run away, or are you trying to take what shots you can, or do you just start betraying your teammates sooner, or what do you kind of do in that situation? Well, like, if you can, like, beat them, because, like, if your team has good brawlers and they don't, it, like, rush them then you should like try taking them out or like you two can combine teams but sometimes that doesn't work yeah okay all right so what about a lot of people think it's you know pretty hard to push high up in trophy levels at showdown so what sort of like trophy level do you think is reasonable to push to for most people um or what would you say wait for a specific brawler uh, I guess just overall, but you're right. Some are better, some are worse. But let's just go with overall. Uh, you can probably push, like, 9,000. Because I've seen a lot of other people that play Showdown. They push to 9,000, getting all the Brawlers to max. Okay. Okay, so you can't get a lot higher than that, obviously. So that's yeah. definitely pretty high. Because um, there's this one guy named Libet. Uh, he got his Colt to, like, 1,200. All through Showdown. 1,200 all through Showdown. Yeah. That's a bit insane. But uh, yeah. good for him. Okay, so... Hmm. So when you're at those, like... Do you think the game is a lot different at the lower trophy levels versus the higher trophy levels for, sh uh, for Showdown? Yeah, because a lot of people don't know how to team. So, like, mm -hmm. if you're just there, they won't try... They'll try killing you, but they won't team with you ever. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. All right, so let's go with one final question. If you were to give one last tip, what would your best tip be to gain trophies in Showdown? My best tip would be to team. We have to team with people that are trustworthy. Like, it has a little bit of luck into it. And you just have to mm -hmm. hope that they're trustworthy with you. Right. Okay. All right, well, thank you so much for coming on the channel. Big 13. Uh, do you have any shout outs or do you have any like uh, Twitter, Instagram, anything? Yeah, I have to shout out my account, Big1913 on Twitter and Facebook. All right, and awesome. Instagram. And Instagram. Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right, well, thank you so much for coming on the channel. Big, that was my showdown guide for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you later.